Okay, guys, um, I'm going to try to get this to you really quick. Uh, I just came in from outside cutting a bunch of barley that <laughs> it's in a dough stage. And yes, two days ago, it was in a, wor a really wet, wet, what they call the worm stage. And now it's advanced to uh, just, just past that into a dough stage. Um, and I wanted to talk to you before I, I, I take you into the, the video recording of it that I made because I, I was like, I don't know, when I, when I get inundated with new information from my brain, I'm not processing that information and talking to you in the video as coherently as I want to. This is what I have been trying to tell people that I am absolutely getting bashed for and have been bashed for. This barley does not have a 90 day window. It acts differently in different conditions. The barley that I harvested today is in a dough stage. Some of it in the last stages of, of I guess you want to say worm where you can squeeze it out of there. None of it was indivisible with the fingernail. None of it, zero, is, was what you could call a beeb, what the other group is looking for, that kernel that can no longer be divided by the nail. And yet, please, I've got videos proving this, and yet the heads of barley are shattering already in this dough state. The top kernels of the head in many of these barleys have stalks have already begun to drop to the earth. And you're gonna see it. It was throughout the barley I was harvesting. I'm telling you that those top kernels that fell were not a beeb because if they were, then the very top kernels that were left in the stock would have been more advanced than they are now. And you're also going to see how very easily this dough barley is separating itself as I'm inspecting it. There's no resistancy in this head to remain attached to the hole. And I apologize, I got my husband talking on in the next room to a friend and I got the birds screaming in the front room, but this is, this is Becca's Life 101 and this is, this is life and I'm sorry if you have a problem with it, but I don't have time to make pretty productions. This is just, just me coming to you fresh out of the field. I am hyper excited and hyper passionate to be able to show you what I'm talking about. Now, the thing about this barley I want you to know is it has been up out of the earth more than 90 days. I have seen things with the barley that show me when it is growing and green for more than the normal window of time, which we'll give it a number, let's give it 90 days that as it approaches the end of its life, it acts very differently than barley in a normal season. What am I talking about a normal season? I'm talking about a season when the rain shuts off, boom, it shuts off and heat comes on and the barley begins to ripen. That barley is different than the barley that grows in an extended season. We have to look at each crop seasonally and understand what the barley is going to do within every season that we're given. You look at this crop and you tell me where the barley, this barley that I'm showing you today, where it would be if I waited for that grain to be indivisible, indivisible. if it is already shedding in the dough stage, where is this barley this year with the conditions it was given from Elohim, where is it going to be if I wait for this barley to become a bee? <clears throat> okay, I'll shut up now and I'm going to show my videos and I may come back and do a follow-up. But uh, yeah, yeah, I was not expecting what I saw out there in the field. Um, we, we just, we got to follow it yearly and we've got to watch it and we've got to be aware that you can't put it in a Zadok scale and say, if this, then that equals the other. 
you've got to you've got to watch the barley every year and you've got to watch what it's doing and you've got to make a determination based on the barley and not a scale of modern development for a modern version of a cereal grass okay this was harvested on April 7th from right here in Perea. I'm going to try to stay out of the shadows or keep the shadows off of it. And I want you to look that some of these have already started to drop their seed heads. Like for instance, this one right here has already shattered. And if I go through this, I can show you several that have already shattered. That's one that's already shattered. That's one that already shattered. There's several in here. Now here's what's also very, very interesting about this. Okay, sorry, with a good camera, it's a little hard to do one-handed. It's very heavy. That's that same grain, and I've just opened one. Once you look, what's on the stalk is still in dough stage, and it's already shattering off the top of that head of barley. That means that this is not a beeb. I can divide it by the fingernail, and it's falling. But I also know that this barley is older. It came up a long time ago, more than 90 days ago. And this is what I've been saying about the rate that the barley matures at, is it totally depends on the season and how much rain and how old the barley is as to the way it responds. I'm going to try to get some better videos of this. This is some of the things that I told you guys we don't know everything about the barley. We've not followed it from beginning to end before. That's another one. This is, by the way, this is when I would harvest it. It's just like this. And you can see it's already starting to shatter. But it's not, not a beeb as in indivisible. And it is also, if I'm so slick, it's also still in the dough. You see it squishing out there? Still in the dough. Let's look at another one. Every one of these are shattering in the dough stage. And I do believe it's because the barley has been up for a while this year. Okay, very divisible, very squishable. And do another one. I'm going to do all these. Just really want to show you that, see how easy these are coming apart. I really just want to show you that these are shattering before, that's divisible, before they're indivisible by the nail. And that's, did you see that pop out? This mm -hmm. is still a dough stage. Let's do this one. Look how easy this is going to come apart, just like that. That's why these are all broken, is because they've all shattered these beginning grains. Let's take just take that one. You saw how easy that come apart. There was no resistance. And none of these, none of these are indivisible by the nail. So if we waited for this barley to be indivisible by the nail, there would be nothing left standing. Okay, so none of this is what is the traditional definition of the word abib, meaning that Abib is, according to modern understanding by the Zadok scale that the other group uses, Abib is when that grain can no longer be divided by the fingernail. This is not Abib, and this barley is shattering off the head already. Okay, so the barley is just tied to the fence here for the purposes of our experiment. It's in a bundle. And it's just left to dry here. But you can see that so much of it already in the dough stage has begun to shatter.
so much of it. Okay, so I went back and looked at my calendar and uh, we saw in December 18, 19, December 18, 2019, let me go there, hang on. Do, 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 do. Just do it right if we're gonna do it right. Just do it right, let's go right here. I went to the group and what I know is that the same time this year that the mustard was coming up, that the barley was already breaking the surface of the earth. And so if I come down through all the pictures I posted this year, and I take us to where I photograph the wild mustard coming up, right here, okay, right here, here we go. This is December 18, and did I share that? Hang on, I did not share that, and I so apologize. Screen share. This is wild barley, December 18th, 2019. And so we're looking at today is April 7th. So that tells you how long this barley has been above the earth. Sorry, I wanted to calculate it. So December 18th to January 18th is one month, to February 18th is two months, to March 18th is three months, three months and 20 days, almost four months. And the barley is shattering in the dough stage. It's really, really, really important that you get this that setting a standard of harvesting according to the maturity of a beeb, not only are you risking the bar barley to shatter when it's in that condition, but there are years waiting for that condition, you've lost your harvest. And that's what I wanted to show you. The barley will be hanging and it will be shedding. <laughs> and we're gonna watch that process daily now with photos.